Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. I got a part to install on the X3, and this is a brake pedal. Why am I installing a brake pedal? Did the car come with one? Yeah, of course it did, but it's, uh, it's a little dinky if you ask me. So check this out. This is the pedal on the car, and this is a OEM Can-Am option. Um, not sure why they decided to go with the small pedal on this giant max limo sized car but um they did and i think this one might only come on the xrc model maybe the xmrs not 100 percent but for sure there's obvious reasons why this is better so we've had times where we're out riding and the pedal is so small that your foot might slip off or whatever you see something you want to stop fast you react and your foot doesn't hit the pedal completely which is obviously bad so um, I'm gonna install this. It doesn't look too hard. It comes with new hardware. And by the hardware, I mean this nut and bolt. There's a bolt and nut on each side. There's a spring holding the pedal to keep it um, in the correct position. So first things first, I'm gonna take the clip off for the master cylinder. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, right angle pick. It doesn't look too difficult to remove. Just a regular C-clip. Or not C-clip, but a retaining clip. And um, here we go. Next, you're going to want to disconnect the spring. It shouldn't be too hard, especially when you're doing it from the top. Maybe it's better from the bottom. There we go. So, I got the spring off. Not a lot of tension on it. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to have to remove the pin for the master cylinder. So, there goes that. Put it that way. Oh, man. This is a pain in the ass, actually. Ah, bastard. Here we go. So there goes the pin. I remove the pin. And now you should be able to see that your pedal is going to be nice and free. You can move this out of the way. Try to make sure you don't pull this out of the mouth cylinder by accident. And kind of just let it flow around. Then you uh, take your nut and bolt off, which should be self-explanatory. So it looks like for the bolt, you're gonna need a 50 millimeter wrench, like this one, and a 50 millimeter ratchet and socket like this one. If you don't have an electric one, no big deal. Hand one will just take you a little bit more time. Break it loose, man. Like that. You got the nut loose, all you gotta do is push the bolt out. Bam, like that. And I'm sure the pillar is just gonna fall out right now. There we go. So, looks like since the kit comes with a new bolt, you might want to replace it. But then again, as you can see here, this is the bracket that holds the pedal assembly. The bolt's hitting the, uh, hitting the fuel tank here. And you might be able to get it out. Oh. Yeah, son of a diddly dude. Nope. It's not gonna come out. At least not very easily. Um, you might bend, bend the bracket and take it off. I'm not doing that. We're gonna use the same bolt. I don't think they're torqued to yield, so we could just reuse it. I might just replace the nut because it is nylon uh, locking. And yeah, so let me grab the new pedal. All right, so check it out. It looks like the uh, this pin kind of just floats in here. So I think what the best thing to do is kind of stick the bolt in here, like that. Maybe that's why they give you the new bolt. Stick the pin in, then put the bearing, and then sandwich it together. You might have to tap it in with a hammer and a socket, and then that way it sandwiches that middle pin in the correct location, and then holds it in place so when you install it, it doesn't move, because it's pivotal that you have that in its spot, so um, it hinges on there correctly. Check it out, I sandwiched it in there. The pin is uh, sandwiched between the two bearings. I used a plastic hammer to tap it in and a metal hammer to get it started because it didn't want to start. But um, it's now pretty good. Ow, my back is hurting, boy. So, pretty simple. The bolt's still up there, didn't move. It ain't coming out. You stick this guy up there, push the bolt through, put the nut on, tie in the nut and bolt together. And then you get on to put in your master cylinder back on. 
and uh, the spring. So it's really easy, not that bad. I do have access from the top because all the plastics are missing, but I think you could easily get this from the bottom with no issues. You probably maybe take the seat out if you're a bigger guy and can't get in there. But um, besides that, if you could squeeze in to the area that it gives you here with the seat and the plastic solid in, you should be able to get it. It's not that bad. So let's put this uh, brake pedal in. In my head. There, man. There you go. All right. An old man once told me, "Get it as tight as you could get it, and half a turn more." No, you don't want to do that. It's a nylon locking nut. Um, sufficient torque. Don't freaking crank it so the thing seizes, because then the pedal might not move correctly. But. Yeah, I'm sure there's a torque spec out there. I ain't looking it up. So anyways, I think at this point, um, it should be safe to say that the uh, master cylinder should easily go back on. All right. Next, you gotta put the pin in for the master cylinder. Next, you put the spring on. No biggie here. Spring on your pick here. And just muscle that motherfucker on just like that and boom you're done make sure that returns correctly take it for a test drive pump the brakes make sure they work i can't do that today but it's good from here so anyways that was just a quick video how to install these brake pedals um it's a super must in my opinion this is safety if you're uh, following a pack of guys and they got their canons and their razors and you hit them all because of that goddamn pedal, come on dude, just upgrade the goddamn pedal. And can if you're listening, this pedal should be standard on all of them. There's no reason for uh, that skinny little pedal. Just, just give us the goddamn pedal, can -Am. And that's it for this video guys. Lots of things to come. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. Speakers, arms. All sorts of stuff it's endless my to-do list is through the roof and honestly I'm excited but god damn it's a lot of work so all you guys out there that have done some similar stuff to this hey man I commend you so when I see your ride out there when I'm out riding and if you recognize me or if I recognize you whatever and I see you I'm gonna say nice freaking whip because I know what it takes to do it if you didn't do it yourself still the money you make is the work you put in so Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one, bye.